Now, hold up now. You got to remember this. When you get this type of knowledge, you, you woke up. You've been asleep for a period of time. And then you get this type of knowledge and you get exposed to this type of knowledge. You woke up to, for real, like a new reality. And at first, you're not going to realize your powers. But over time, you're going to start to realize that you have special powers. And these powers could either work for or against you. See, people take the spiritual, the life of a spiritual guru for granted or the life of a person that dedicates themselves to being on a spiritual path for granted. Yet you don't realize that this this control that you're taught in spirituality and how to control your body and your kundalini and your energy and things of that nature is going to be the only way to really make it from what I've been talking about with people privately. And I'm going to go ahead and, and introduce publicly will be the only way to make it from what's called this state of death to resurrection. See, the goal is, is to not is to basically to never die. That's the goal. The goal is to never die. So you have to go from a state of death to a state of resurrection, bottom line. And many people won't make it because of the fact that they have no control on the spiritual realm. Learning to control the spiritual realm is first and foremost learning to control your dreams. Learning how to manifest from your dreams. Learning when to dream or when to strive to incubate a certain type of dream and when not to strive to incubate a certain dream. See, these are certain lessons that you must learn in order for you to discipline what they call in ancient Egypt, the cot, which is what we're going to next.